Hello and welcome to today's video of the 30 days of Etsy series. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Google Analytics account and hook it up to your Etsy shop. So that way you can get even more in-depth data and analytics for your Etsy shop. So that way you can use this data and analytics to help you get even better results for your Etsy shop. So with Google Analytics, you can find out really important information like where your traffic is actually coming from and then using this information to then put in all your time and effort and marketing strategy into what's actually working. So for example, for my own Etsy shop, I know that Pinterest is driving around about 50% of my traffic. And I know this because of all the data that I've collecting from Etsy and Pinterest and also from Google Analytics itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into my computer now where I can show you exactly how to set up your Google Analytics account with your Etsy shop. Okay, so to get your Google Analytics all set up for your Etsy shop, all you wanna do is you wanna head over to your browser. So I've got Google open here and I'm just gonna type in Google Analytics. And then it's gonna give you this search result here. So just click on Google Analytics here. So make sure it's analytics.google.com. Now, depending on whether or not you've got your Google account set up, will determine um, you know, what accounts you have available here to start with. Now, for my Etsy shop, I have the makers branding shop at gmail.com connected to my Etsy shop. So I know that I can use this Google account to set up my Google Analytics. So go ahead and either select your Google account or create a new account. It'll prompt you to sign in. And then once you've signed in, it's gonna redirect you to this Welcome to Google Analytics page. So it's going to give you some information about what Google Analytics is and how you can set it up for free. So all you wanna do is you want to click here where it says set up for free. And then now it's going to ask you a couple of questions to get your Google Analytics account set up. So it's gonna ask you, what do you want to name your account? Now for me, I'm just going to name it the same as my Etsy shop. So the makers branding shop. And then you want to um, make sure that all of these are ticked, otherwise you can't actually open up your Google Analytics account. But I would recommend you having a read over all of this information to make sure that you agree and then just head down and then click the next button. Here it's going to ask you, what do you want to measure? It's going to ask you for web. So do you want to measure your website? Do you want to measure apps? Or do you want to measure apps and web? If we're just doing it for our Etsy shop, we're really not interested in having it for our app because we're not creating an app. So what we want to do is we want to select web. Now, I understand that it's not our own website address, but this is the best selection for our Google Analytics account, okay? So just scroll down and click next. So now it's going to ask you what your website name is. Now, again, I'm just gonna put my Etsy shop name in here. And where it says website URL, this is where you're gonna copy and paste the link of your actual Etsy shop and you're going to paste it here in the website URL. So that way we can start tracking all the data and analytics that come from our Etsy shop. What I would recommend is just opening up your Etsy shop in a new tab and then copying and pasting that link. So I've got the makers branding shop open here. All I'm going to do is just click up here. I'm going to copy that link, head on over back to your Google Analytics tab and where it says website URL, just paste in your link there and click out. Now it might say this default URL is invalid and that is just because they just want you to get rid of this bit here. So just delete that and then just click out of it again and then you should be fine. Yep, that's all good. Okay, so here it's got industry category. All you wanna do is just select one. So just click down on that button. Now for my other Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio, I actually went ahead and selected shopping because it's an e-commerce platform, what we're dealing with. So we want to target really um, shoppers with our data. So just click on shopping. Now here is where you're gonna report your time zone. I'm here in South Australia in, uh, in a city called Adelaide. So I'm just going to go ahead and find that now, but you would just put in your location here. 
Once you're all happy with that information, all you wanna do is hit the create button. Now, before it creates your account, it's going to give you your terms of service agreement. Make sure you read through all this information to make sure that you are happy with the way that Google Analytics has their terms and services set up. And then once you're all happy with that, just click this button here to accept all the data processing terms and the GDPR terms as well. Okay, click on that one and scroll down. It's going to give you some additional terms applicable to data shared with Google. Again, make sure you read over all that information. And if you're happy, just click this box here to accept the measurement controller, controller data protection terms for the data that I share with Google, okay? Then once you've ticked both of those boxes, all you need to do is press the I accept button. Or if you are not happy with these terms, press the I do not accept button. Then Google is gonna do its thing. It's going to ask you for your uh, email communications. You know, they may send you um, emails to update you on what's happening with Google Analytics or any other promotional emails as well. I'm going to leave these unchecked and save. The very first time that you head into your Google Analytics account, you're going to be um, you know, showing these prompts and notifications. So that way you can learn how to use Google Analytics a little bit better. But for now, we just wanna set up our Google Analytics account and then add our tracking ID to our Etsy shop so that we can start gaining and collecting all that really highly valuable information that we can get from our Etsy shop. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna go no thanks here. Here, I'm just gonna say, got it. And then by default, it's actually going to take you to the back end, so where all your settings and your tracking IDs and website tracking is located. So that way, it's so simple for you to just grab your tracking ID and then add it to your Etsy shop. So this is only gonna take a couple of steps. All you need to do is you need to copy this entire tracking ID. So this is your ID that Google uses to track all your data from your Etsy shop. I'm going to copy that. Then we're going to go back to our Etsy shop dashboard. So I've already got it open up here and we want to scroll down to where it says settings. And then where this little arrow is, just click on that. Then what we want to do is we want to go here to where it says options, just click on that. And then at the top here, you're going to be given all these different tabs. Now what we're looking for is the web analytics tab. Click on that and it's gonna open up your web analytics section for your Etsy shop. And then right in the middle here, it's got already have a Google Analytics account. Yes, we do, we've just set it up. So all we wanna do is add in that tracking ID that we grabbed from our Google Analytics account and just paste it here where it says web property ID and then click save. And then once your Etsy shop has been saved and it's uploaded properly, you're gonna get this notification that says your shop changes have been saved. Now, any traffic or data or analytics that are collected from our Etsy shop will now start appearing on our Google Analytics account. So if we head back over to our Google Analytics account and we go to our home area here. So once we start seeing that um, we're getting traffic so we're getting users and sessions. It's going to give us so much more valuable information about the way that our potential customers and our customers are you know, navigating our Etsy shop and it'll give us more concise data on how people are making purchases, um, you know, where they're coming from. We can also link up our analytics to our Pinterest account as well. So all the traffic that's coming from Pinterest to Etsy, we can finally, you know, get that real in-depth information about where our traffic is coming from and how it's converting into customers. Okay, so it was easy as that, just a couple of steps to get your Google Analytics account set up and then tracking the data from your Etsy shop. Okay, so it was as easy as that, just a couple of steps to get your Google Analytics account set up with your Etsy shop. Now, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you've been liking these videos in the 30 Days of Etsy series, why not consider subscribing?
We've got only a few more days left here for the 30 Days of Etsy series and I wouldn't want you to miss out on those last few pieces of information to help you get started with your Etsy shop. And also don't forget to go ahead and grab that free resource that I created for you. It's the Startup with Etsy Roadmap. It has a list of six steps that I use and recommend for all new Etsy shop owners. It's the six steps that I use to start my own Etsy shop. So that's the Penny Street Studio Etsy shop and also the Makers Branding shop, the test shop that we've been using here in this 30 days of Etsy series. So to get that free resource, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below. You gotta just pop in your name and email address and I'll send you over that free roadmap for you. Now, if you have any comments or feedback that you would like to leave me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about what you loved about this series and maybe what you didn't like or what information I can provide for you in the future. I really do enjoy working on my Etsy shop. I really enjoy uploading these videos for you. Being able to help you here really does make me happy um, and it really does give me that extra motivation to create these videos for you every day. Okay, I will see you same time, same place tomorrow. Bye for now.